welcome to Cornerstone's newest build. We have our most popular length again, as is the Fontana, another 28 foot. It's actually 32 foot to the ball hitch, so that would be considered a 32 foot in the RV world. Um, this house is another hardy board exterior siding. She has a beautiful azure blue uh, uh, paint on the outside. As we go down here, you'll see that we have huge egress windows. These windows exceed the maximum width required for RVIA standards uh, for an egress window, but we have two on each side. It's really important to do that within the uh, RV. So we had a lot of fun with the ceiling and roof lines in this. You'll see we have an opposing gable roof here across the center with a salt box roof line on the front. On the front there is where a loft is. You'll see that as we go inside. So as we get closer to the front door, you'll see we have a vent to the outside. All of our ranges and range hoods are always vented to the outside. It's important to keep that air moving through. Coming up here, we have a different type of hardy siding. This is a shaped siding. Uh, we've painted it a different, uh, darker blue up here, just to give it a little accent, a little punch. And of course, as always, we are an RVIA certified builder, so we have an RVIA uh, seal on the front door. This front door is a full light door, meaning it has a full window. It has a blind insert on the inside, and it's easily operated. You can tilt it so that full light can come through, or you can raise it all the way up so that it basically disappears and becomes a full window. Your choice. think is with this great it's fresh it's clean we have so many things going on in here I'm gonna start with this great ceiling line you'll see that we have the tongue and groove pine uh, ceiling material stained one color and then the opposing beams just a little bit darker I think it gives it another dimension that it wouldn't normally have as always, we do LED lighting in all of our tiny homes. They're always uh, on a rheostat so that they become adjustable. I'm going to start out in the front here. This is the living room. So as you walk up into the living room, on the back side here, we have the Murphy bed. So this home homeowner chose to have a downstairs bedroom. If she needed it, she does have another loft area that could be also used as a bedroom area though too. So we've got this really great Murphy bed here. This, when it's done, will be um, a sofa area. It's a U-shaped sofa. She's going to have some custom cushions made for all of these. We have storage underneath all of them. A lot of different boxes here, different sizes, different access. And then up front here, we have a valuable storage and or gun safe. So on top of here will be um, her cushions. You'll not be able to see it. On each side, we also have drawers. They're soft clothes. Just for some extra storage. So our homeowner is an art lover. She wanted to have some places to display her art. So we built these great built-in bookcases on each side. Here again, we have a pine tongue and groove wall covering. This is painted. It's the same material as the ceiling, just treated in a different way. As always, we have our mini slit heating and air conditioning. It really keeps it comfortable, especially in our uh, Florida heat. Removes all of the humidity. A really large pantry. So we have a lot of storage in here. These pantries, they have uh, two roll-out shelves as well as some other adjustable shelves inside. I don't know if you noticed or not, but we have a reduced step cabinet at the end. This allows the homeowner to pull a stool up here and maybe on the other end too for a guest. They can sit here and eat. have a lot of prep area here in her uh, 
kitchen. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's sparkles in, in her countertop. It really looks pretty. Um, the opposing black with the white, it's just such a clean look. I really love it. We, we chose to do uh, open shelving on this side. Um, again, she has a lot of art. She has pretty dishes that she wanted to put on display rather than hide them behind a cabinet. So over on this side, we have a true induction cooktop. Um, we can still, with this cooktop especially, it's not very deep, so we can still maintain the two drawers that are right underneath the cooktop. Normally, we would have to get rid of these in a typical build. She chose to do a microwave convection oven, so it does the job of two things, both a microwave and an oven up here. We have a stainless steel, really nice size refrigerator. It's an LG. Um, it does have the nice drawers in the freezer. This is a good size for a tiny home. It's not too wide, it's not too tall, and it gives you some great storage. So up above, you'll see it was made. It was made for here. We have an electric fireplace. The homeowner brought that. It was a favorite item that she had. That was one of her requests. So we found a place to put it for. For privacy in the bathroom, we have a barn door. It's made out of the same material as the wall material. It's up on a stainless steel uh, barn door hardware rail. Hi, come on up into the loft here. This one is big enough for a, a queen size bed. It would go clear to the edge here. Probably be better suited for a double size, a four foot six wide bed. Um, we do this shelf at the top. It could serve as kind of like a headboard, nightstand kind of thing. You could put phone charger up there, a glass of water, a book, or you could store it with some baskets. You'll also notice that in, in all of our lofts, we always use an egress window. It's important um, in a tiny home that you have a means of escape whenever there might be an emergency. So in this bathroom, we have a combo washer and dryer here. This one, this particular model is vented to the outside. I think it gives it a little better heating action whenever it's washing and drying when you have a vented model. Um, we did a clothes rod above there. You could hang like a shirt or something, but it's probably not long enough for anything more than just a, a short shirt or something like that to dry. So as you come in, you can see we haven't wasted any space. These are, this is on the other side of the stairs. So we have the little stair cubby holes. They vary in size according to what, whatever the stair was. And then best of all, when it gets to the top, we have a really nice size closet in here. Now this is definitely a, a, a normal closet size that you could get a dress in. So even above here, we haven't left off the upper stairs. We're still getting some more storage. I mean, in the bathroom, who can't use more storage in the bathroom? So this particular model, we have a beautiful shower. It's big, it's a four foot long shower. We have some custom tile uh, design glass inserts, a handheld uh, shower head, and a shampoo niche at the back. Over here, we have a really great purple sink. I love the sink. Our homeowner picked this out. So it has the glass bowl, and then this is the faucet. The, the water comes down on here. As usual, on the side, we always put our storage shelves on the side. This way is tucked away. You don't have to see all of your toiletry items as you're looking down. It's back out of the way. As always, we have uh, an exhaust fan in our bathroom. We use a dew stop switch. What happens is it senses the amount of humidity that's in the air. And once the humidity reaches a certain level, it turns on the exhaust fan. It's really important in a tiny house. Underneath here, we have tons of storage. Also underneath the sink, you know, big things like uh, toilet paper, uh, towels, maybe a dirty clothes basket, something like that. Works well in there.
Thanks for visiting our newest build. Please go to cornerstonetinyhomes.com to see some others. Thank you.